Eternal Journey Life is a journey, one that begins with a single step and then progresses over thousands of emotional miles through ups and downs and towards the inevitable. While we should be grateful to be traversing through space-time and experiencing this incredible journey, most of us fail to enjoy it as we get caught up with obstacles and keep everything that we truly want to do for later. Most of the time, the later becomes too late. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> he doesn't have much time. Give him a penicillin and check on him every half hour. Yes, Doctor. Hello, Richard. Richard, open your eyes. <sighs> you, I, I know you. I, I have s seen you before. I am your childhood self. Back when you were five years old. <gasps> Don't be afraid. I am here to take you on a journey. A ju ju Richard's eyes widened in shock. Tears rolled down from them. That... That's my mother. She... She looks so young. I had forgotten how beautiful she looked. And that's... that's me! Suddenly there was a knock on the door. Coming! It was the landlord. I am here for the rent. It's been three months. Please give me a few more days. I... No. Give me my rent or get out of my house. This ain't no charity. I beg you. Please. Just a few more days. I will arrange it. No. No means no. Get out. Now. <laughs> but, but where will I go with my baby? I don't care. Get out. Mom. You have worked so hard to raise me. Went through so much. I... I... <laughs> Mom! Huh? Come, I want to show you something else. You... you grew up. Yes, come with me. Richard found himself in a park. I... I know this place. This is... wait. That's me playing basketball over there. Wow, look at me. So young, so energetic, so full of life. Richard stood there watching his nine-year-old self fail repeatedly in trying to put the ball through the hoop. This is how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he is crying. Someone should tell him that it's not the end of the world. Better things await him. But, but... I do regret not following my passion for basketball. <sighs> Come, let's show you something else. What? Wow, my college! And that's me with my... with my friends. <sighs> it feels like a lifetime ago and at the same time like yesterday. You have to talk to her today. You have to tell her about your feelings. Um, I don't know. I mean, just go. That's Debbie. God, I'd forgotten about her. Richard watched his 18-year-old self propose to Debbie, but it did not go well. Oh, Richard, I must have hurt. I am sorry I don't remember the pain, but I do know that better things await you. 
But I do regret not telling Debbie that I had not done anything wrong. There was no reason for her to insult me like that. I just told her how I felt. Come, we must keep moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> the world is strange, isn't it? Only a few years I was crying for Debbie, and now I am marrying the love of my life, Alyssa. Yay! 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 I remember this feeling. The feeling of completeness. Look at me, us, so happy. Indeed. <laughs> I am sorry but she will never be able to conceive again. <gasps> no! Sorry. <laughs> we were upset that day, Alyssa and I both. But while she was hurt, my emotions took a diversion. Uh, you should have been more careful. <laughs> I... I don't want to hear anything. I should have not done that. You know, I regret not having a child, but now as I look back, I see we could have adopted one. Come, let's proceed. You, you. We are all you, Richard. Now come. Richard found himself with his 50-year-old self near an old age home. I am sorry, Mom. I wish there was another way. Please, son. I don't want to stay here. I want to stay with you. I promise I will not trouble you. It's not that, Mom. You know how busy Alyssa and I are with our jobs. It is getting very difficult and there is no one to take care of you. The people here are very good. They will take good care of you. You will be happy. Oh, son. I cannot be happy without you, but if this is what you want, then fine. Your happiness means everything to me. Always has. Take care of yourself. <laughs> no, what have I done? My mother. The one who gave me birth and struggled all her life to give me a good life. I sent her away when she needed me the most. <laughs> oh, this is the biggest regret of my life. I should have never done that. I am sorry, Mom. I am sorry. Come, we have one last stop to make. I am sorry. She is no more. <laughs> no, Elissa! All my life I have blamed her for not giving me an heir. I regret not telling her that the miscarriage wasn't her fault. I regret not being able to tell her how much I loved her one last time. You, you! Now I am tired of showing you around, Richard. It's time to go back. When Richard woke up again, he cried profusely, <laughs> as his entire life, the forgotten past, was in front of him. <laughs> what have I done? I have nothing but regrets. <laughs> I wish I could fix them, but it's too late. It isn't. You still have time to correct your karma. In a small moment, you can do something extremely momentous. What do you mean? All your wealth, your life's fortune that you're leaving behind. For whom? For your relatives? You can put it to a better use to ensure the correction of your karma. Donate your money to an orphanage. Contribute towards the upbringing of orphan children so that one day another Richard doesn't end up like the way you did, with regrets. At that moment, Richard's eyes glowed, for he understood what his consciousness was trying to tell him. 
What next? Well, Richard spoke with the doctors and requested them to call for lawyers. I want to make my will. It is my last wish. Richard narrated what he wanted his will to be like, and soon it was created. With tears of happiness rolling down his cheek, he signed his will. Thank you. No, thank you. You are a great soul. You are leaving everything behind for the betterment of the children in an orphanage. I salute you. God bless you. And saying so, the lawyers left. Tears welled up in Richard's eyes. He looked to his right to see his consciousness standing there, smiling. Th thank you. <laughs> I feel so much better. Why didn't I do this before? This... this correction of karma. Because you were on cloud nine, living a self-catered life. <laughs> you are right. Thank you. Now I feel so light from the inside. Good, then. Let's fly. And at that moment, the waves on the electrocardiogram screen went flat. The doctors and the nurses rushed in, but he was gone. Richard was reunited with his mother and his wife. You could tell that they were all happy. And then they turned around and began to walk away. But don't think this is their end. For this is the beginning of an eternal journey. <laughs>